Okay, welcome back. Part three. Let's roll. I feel like we need to get aggressive with the French early on. How much is it going to cost? <laughs> wow. To bribe that army, it costs 93,000 florins. We're slightly short on that one, I'm afraid. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Pretty rough. We leave the peasants in, yeah. We need to make sure, oh god. One turn till completion, one turn, okay, cool. So I want to swap these out and put the peasants back in the, uh, the fort. It's going to be enough to take this? Should be. Hope so. I'm assuming this is very little. I'm going to hope the French don't attack in this turn. I'm going to try and double team them. So one in Flanders, one in Brittany. Try and get a bit of an advantage early on. Since it's really only Toulouse and Elder France have got any firing power. Well, obviously. But I mean, it would take away a lot of their strength. Let's do that. Let's hope they don't attack this turn. That would be unfortunate. Um, risk it for a biscuit. Shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that was unfortunate. Yes, I would like allies, please. Thank you. Oh, we just got some uh, ports in. Excellent. So, what's that done to this? Do you think you can see that now? God, we're trounced. More peasants, please. Lots more. Did we lose anybody? Can't even see. Move. No, we didn't. We're still fine. Good. Let's risk it. Let's just do it. Let's attack. Yeah, declaring war. We're getting aggressive. <laughs> so obviously we're leaving Aquitaine and Anjou open, but I think the attack, the early attack on France, is more important. In fact, let's cancel this. I know we're going to do that, but I think it might be a better place to do it in Wessex instead, given... Yeah, I think that's probably a better idea. God, this is... these are half dead. We can't take Scotland for a while, we have to wait until we've uh, replenished a little bit. Let's give some... I'm sure let's give some titles, give some loyalty up. What are these ones? Earl of Wessex and Great, yeah, Great Chamber. What's this? Of militia, archers, and peasants. Shouldn't be a problem. This one, can't see. Let's go check. Let's put the diplomat or emissary, sorry, in this one and we can have a look at what they've got in the armies. Um, to build, I think just, yeah, more urban militia. Okay, they treat to their stronghold. We outnumber them, but we've got trash, trash troops, three units of peasants, and some hobblers. The very basic of the basic. Um, I probably should fight that though to try and minimise the casualties. Hope they've got not got much. Heavy. They, they shouldn't have because it's very early in the game, but I'm hoping they've got no urban militia or anything. We'll see. Let's just let's, let's do it. Um Oh god, how many archers do we have? It might favour us to go for the downpour. I don't think we have that many archers. Do we have 60 or 120? Crap. Let's assume they've got more archers than us and attack on the heavy downpour. Yeah, yeah, oh good, we only have 60 archers, perfect. So we all can push you right up. Oh, that track. Never get bored of it. Okay. 
Okay. Very weak attack, very weak defense. Overall, very weak. Numbers count for nothing with peasants, <laughs> especially in this game. <laughs> Let's get on this hill then, see what they've got. Ooh, hello. Ah, okay. The French. <laughs> so, they've got, ooh, they've got 60 other militia. Not too many though. 200 peasants. So, 300 peasants, we outnumber them twofold. Same archers and we've got the cavalry. Yeah, I think that's, that's a pretty good fight. Um, we have to get the this other hill over here, I think. Level out the uh, playing field. Oh, God, go, 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 Speed for the entire battle. Let's do it. We're in range. Let's try and catch them before they can get back in to their formation. Might just miss it. Yep, unfortunately, can't do that. Gotta pull out. Guys, come back, come back, need you back very quickly. Alright, so let's get the peasants moving up then. It's not gonna happen. No, guys, get out. I don't want you engaged. Run, run, run. That's why I can you eat him. They got the best of us there, but what we're gonna do here, we're gonna pull the cavalry around the back now. We're gonna engage all the infantry if we can. Come on, move up, move up. Oh, they're getting the hill back. don't do what you want them to in this game, I'll be honest. Oh, let's push them in, come on. Let's get, let's get stuck in. Oh, the hobble I was thinking about running. Yeah. They're so, like, tentative. They won't, will not engage. Okay, let's do it. Hit this unit, I think, with the archers if we can. Try and just pile on this one unit of peasants, break them one at a time. They've got the better so far, but we're catching up now with this engagement. Chasing the archers of the peasants, good, they're engaged, perfect. Let's get. Come on, boys. Evenly matched, to expected. It shouldn't be after this. Uh, the peasants around the back. There we go. Right, save the rest of these missiles for these uh, urban militia up the top. Let's get the moving over here. They're winning easily. Are you serious? I was gonna say, surely they can be that more size. Alright. Hang on, run, run, run back, run back. But the camera view is so bloody small as well. <laughs> okay, we're getting trounced on that side apparently. Try and soften the peasants with some archers. In the meantime, we're gonna get the cavalry up the hill. The urban militia is scaring me, I'll be honest. Because the peasants are just breaking straight away with the archers. Should be able to kill the archers very quickly there. And then, yeah, they're losing badly good. Hopefully, he can win your us. general lies oh, dead in the no. field. No. And your soldiers are disheartened. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, we'll ransom it. 
flood in Mercia. Okay. Power, that's not good. Famine in Northumbria, perfect. Almahads and the King of Aragon, sure. Good runner, Michael Corthos. Well, that was a terrible loss. I don't know if it's like hard, if on hard difficult in this one because they seem to, my men seem to be routing very quickly. It was peasant v peasant, and that we had to have like four units surround, well, three units I think surrounding one unit to actually beat them. It seems a little bit unbalanced. You know what I mean? I don't know what we need to beat that army up there, but. Yeah, we kind of showed our hand now to France, which is kind of annoying. We'll go for the attack on the city as well. Yeah, let's get um, Town Watch. No. Is there an inn? Yeah. Attracts mercenaries to the problem. That might, might be the way forward. Get Just get better troops. Excuse me, we'll try that. So we've essentially lost Normandy. Well, we've lost probably three now if, if they want to take it. Can we go back up? Just desperation, try and take it. <laughs> we know what they've got now. Peasants just don't do anything. I feel like the odds are stacked against this on hard. It just seems like the, they were routing very quickly there. Even before the general died. Alright, so we're taking... Oh god, that should be easy, surely. Oh, we must have that. So we should have planned this soon. In which case we've got like a... We've got a foothold in... Well, we have a foothold sort of, but... It's nice to be able to ferry troops straight over from Wessex. I'm hoping the better troops as well. Alright. Come out there. Let's see what France do. Flanders... Uh, all to that, I think. Oh. Auto? No. The Pope is actually just <laughs> ceased to sit in no chance. Um, the Pope, yeah. Okay. Marriage proposal from the Italian Doge. Sure. Do some allies right now. Can we just take the f take Flanders. I can't believe we're not taking this as well. Let's go back in. <laughs> Let's keep trying. We'll get. <laughs> we'll keep trying until we take them out. Okay. Over militia in how many turns? One turn. I just don't want to build peasants because they just they don't do anything. Let's try this again. Might be mad, but let's try it. What are these guys got then? Okay. Lots of archers, I'll say that much. That's gonna be very tough to take then. Well, I guess it is just archers pretty much, but we'll still need a force to take it down. Um I'm really hoping building the inn in Mercia. Didn't we just build a inn? Where did we build the inn? Hang on. Did I cock up? I think I think we cocked up. Bollocks. Oh, damn. Okay, I wanted to build an inn here, so hopefully that unlocks a lot more high-level troops. You'd hope, anyway. And we just save all the money for those and just try and get you know beat the French back. Let's see how that plays out. Jesus Christ. Um, definitely want to do that one. Is this the one on the Yeah, it is. Come on. <laughs> okay. We're so battered now. <laughs> I just couldn't take that army on the left. Pretty sure they've gained experience from that as well. Right, Flanders has fallen. Okay, that's good. So, four straight away. Let's ferry some guys over as well. Try and hold this. Still couldn't take this one, although we... Let's try again, because I think they're very low on men now. I'm trying to avoid the sort of smaller battles, because obviously it means I'm going to have to resync the recording. It's just a pain to go into a battle, so if I can re-auto it, I will. Okay, 
moment of truth. Next time, we'll see if we can get some mercenaries rolling down. Is it worth it? Could we do like a combined attack here? Keep trying. Let's keep trying. Oh no, hang on. Wait, wait. Let's wait until we get this. these valuable 18 men. We've got to build some peasants here, there's nothing about it. We've got to build some peasants. Okay, I'm saving a bit of cash to hopefully get some mercenaries straight off the bat for next turn. Let's see how that plays out though. Hope the French don't do anything crazy. Or to it. Still not good. Who was that? No. Who betrayed us? Toulouse was there as already. No idea who that was. Just giving titles to some <laughs> guys. Oh, it's this one. Uh, okay. Well, that's alright because it's the, the units that completely battered. That's fine. But it does mean we, got, we can't invade this thing yet. Hang on, is this spinning? Oh, let's go, let's go. It's time, we've got 200 more peasants on the way. Right, this, we're gonna get, end up getting the king killed going for Scotland, but I, I feel like I've gotta keep pushing. Let's try it, let's build another peasant over here. Right, Mercia, what can we do? Okay, we can't hire mercenaries, really. Why not? It should be there. There should be an option for it. I'm not sure why we can't. That's a shame. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. I'm gonna go for another fort. Keep, bro. Let's do it. What do they have here? They have uh, two Royal Knights, don't they? If I leave the princess in there, can she spy for us? <laughs> That's the question. I feel like I've got to get in this one, like, early, but this, this army's pretty big over here. But I've got to get in there. Should we do it? Problem is there. Um, we've got very few archers. Yeah, it's not great actually. But very few archers. Let's get some archers actually. And obviously we've got the cavalry disadvantage. The one good unit both of us have got here is the Royal Knights. The rest are crap. So them having double that unit is not good for us at all. That is their king though, King Philip. Get him out of the picture. That'd be great. Let's end the turn anyway. We might as well just get some stuff over here. Then I'm disappointed we couldn't get some. Uh, Mercenaries. I thought we could just get them straight off the bat once we built the inn, but I guess not. I don't really want to build anything in these ones because I feel like we're going to lose them any second. Save the money for uh, England. Okay. Hopefully, Scotland falls this time. It should do. Thank you. Um, they've got replenished troops. We pull off the attack, I think. Treat the stronghold there, definitely as well. I can see. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't mind the excommunication. Right, it's good. So, fort in Scotland. Let's build one. The king's got to stay up there for a little bit until we get things stabilised. But ah, oh, we couldn't. Don't have funds for the archers. It's a shame. Why can I not grab this unit? I feel like the, the French have had too much time to build now, I think we're going to have trouble beating them unless we build up our forces first now. Oh, can we see? The, yeah, we can. Awesome. Okay, so. 
There's nothing crazy. They've got some ballista crews, but apart from that, there's nothing too bad. It's mostly still peasants and yeah, very similar. How long is this? About two turns. Again there. Ooh, interesting. Oh my god, that's that's horrible. That's the king, but I don't think we can kill him, I'll be honest. He's got no infantry to speak of, he's got archers and then cavalry, but I don't think our even our militia are gonna have any chance against that. I think we have to abandon that province. Pope has requested another Catholic crusade against your faction. <laughs> Buy some time to get a shop. Um, Hungary wants a marriage shop. King Olaf of. Uh, <laughs> Denmark, sure. Take Princess Ingeborg. Oh no, sorry, Prince William, sorry. Yeah, sure, take him. Right. That's a tough army, I'll be honest. We need to use a lot more royal knights of our own. We need the king down here to take that out, I think. Hmm, tricky. Alright, I think I'll leave this one here. Um, it's not looking great, I'll be honest. We're struggling. Immediately, I think we need time to build up our forces, get a higher level type of troop, um, and then try and take, yeah, try and storm the French. The fact that we've been excommunic excommunicated and the Pope's asking Catholic factions to attack us isn't <laughs> isn't great either. But whatever, we've got a lot of alliances actually. A lot of people sending em emissaries, so that might not be a problem. We'll see. This is getting hard. This is this really is hard. I mean, it's probably easy for an expert player, but. This, this feels pretty tough to me. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.